742 <laughs> CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's a life saving procedure that everyone really should know, yes. but maybe they haven't had the chance to learn, right, Jackie? Ex I know I haven't had yeah. the chance to learn. So this is awesome. 7 News has you covered this morning. Here to tell us more and give a demonstration is Michelle and Renee. So, welcome, ladies. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. So, I actually had been wanting to do this for myself. I had to babysit my niece one weekend, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do CPR. Gosh. Something happened. Younger? She younger? She's nine. Okay. And so I actually was looking online. You guys are one of the few people out here who do this. So Michelle and Renee, so tell us a little bit about yourself. What made you get started in CPR? Well, I was in the military during Vietnam. Woo! Yes! Yeah, no, Go, thank girl! You thank service. you for your service. Thank you very much yeah. for saying that. And I had the opportunity of teaching CPR in the service. Okay. And so I, when I got out of the service, mm -hmm. I became a dental hygienist. Okay. And I had the opportunity to be teaching um, CPR for a dental group. Mm -hmm. And it just snowballed into a job. And wow. now I am, after 40 years of dental hygiene, I'm retired. And this is my retirement job. And I love it. And I, I do it from the heart yeah. more than anything else. It's wonderful. Saving lives for sure. What organization are you guys from? American Heart Association. Very good. Thank you for being here. Want to get started? Should mm -hmm. we see? We got a lot in front of us here. We do have a lot in front of us. And Renee, you're uh, the daughter, so this is a mom yes. daughter duo. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so let's start off with this. What is this? This is an AED, Automated External Defibrillator. Okay. The AED actually is very useful in saving lives. Uh, compressions alone uh, is probably about 15 minutes survival rate, but the AED is 90. So we see this at many businesses, yeah. big yellow box. Mm -hmm. These AEDs are often now in a lot of businesses, kind of a new move in many places, but you said life-saving? This is life-saving. Are there directions? Do we need to know how to use it? And it talks to you, so it'll uh, prompt wow. you through the whole process. Okay. okay. Okay, all right, so that and that you don't need obviously all the, the training for that. This it talks you through. So now, Renee, you're actually going to start. We've got a, a man, a human, and we've also got a doggy. And for her to do this properly, she had to stand on the box up here. So why don't you, uh, you were going to walk us through kind of what yes. she's doing. Okay, okay. so what it. Renee's going to do is she's going to compress on the chest about two inches deep. And uh, what she's doing is she's pumping blood and oxygen to the brain. Okay. She's keeping them artificially alive long enough for Medica um, ambulance to come and take over. So what she's keeping him is artificially alive through oxygen wow. in our blood cells. Now Renee's going to give him two breaths. Two breaths. How many pumps, if I go back, how many pumps do we do on this? It is 30 compressions. So just pump their heart 30, 30 times? 30 times. Okay. And if you don't want to give them breaths, it's continuous compressions until somebody comes. So you just wow. sing that lovely song, Staying Alive. <laughs> oh, and we, and okay. we do. We hear a lot yeah. about that song. You know, the song, they're, they're often counting, you know, something to give you a little bit of indication. I know a lot of people often are concerned. They don't exactly know where to press as well. Are you looking for a, a certain place? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. You can show them. You're going to look just below the breastbone. Okay. Just below the breastbone. And Is the breastbone, there? is there something you can feel? Yeah. Is there a bit mm -hmm. of a... a Divide that yes. you can feel. Okay, you it's called a sternum. Thank mm -hmm. you very okay. much. Mm -hmm. All okay. right, so you're gonna feel so that press. Should you be worried about doing it too hard? No, no, don't worry about doing it too hard. And a good way to tell if you're going deep enough is to press to where your hands become level with the shoulder blades. Wow. Okay, so press for 30, two breaths, and just mm -hmm. keep doing that, singing the song, staying alive. Yep. Okay. All right. Now I know a lot of pet lovers are out there. We've got. Does this pet have a name? Do you name the dog? <laughs> no, we don't name the dog. We're okay. keeping this as emotionally <laughs> yeah, unavailable as yes. possible. We'll okay. name it Jackie. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> save right. me daily. Let's save, save Jackie me daily. for sure. Okay. But on a dog, I mean, I, w I would think I'd have to be even more careful, even more delicate. No, not really. Wow. Um, all you have to do is make sure you're compressing on the rib cage, and we're going to do the same as we did with the adults. Wow. It's 30 compressions, two breaths. And you, so would, do, you would hold the mouth together and blow through the snout. Yeah, so oh, it's mouth you blow snout. the snout. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, that's interesting. Anything, you know, should you be worried about anything coming out of the mouth? If, if you see any signs, uh, do you need to, any reason not to do the compressions? No. If they're not breathing um, and they have no pulse, definitely um, CPR is what they need. So is this stuff, this might be a dumb question, I don't know, but I know when a lot of times people aren't breathing because they're choking. Is this mm -hmm. for choking scenario? Yes. This, is, this for is for unconscious choking. Okay. If they were okay. um, consciously choking for adults and children, we would do um, the Heimlich maneuver. And even on pets, we can do a Heimlich maneuver on the animals. Okay. But the Heimlich maneuver is only if they're conscious and choking. 
Um, CPR is when they go unconscious, oh. so they're now they're not breathing, okay. they're unconscious, yes. CPR right away. I've never known that difference. It's good to know. It is very good to know. We're just calling 911 factor in in all of this. That's correct. Right we always call right 911. Right first, away. Mm -hmm. the first, first thing we do is call 911, then do CPR, get the AED, and hopefully the ambulance will come soon enough to take care of this person. We know in many ways this mm -hmm. has saved lives, Absolutely. right? We've heard many instances where even somebody that's not as experienced as both of you. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. There that's have been children that did homic maneuvers on their uh, classmates and they mm -hmm. saw it on TV mm -hmm. and they saved lives. Yeah. All right, well tell us uh, if people want to take classes or private classes through you guys and they just go to the website or? Yes, the, my website is cprfirstaid101.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make an appointment with me. I have a training center in Greenville. I also do um, CPR training offsite if it's a company or a business Great. or a medical facility. We travel. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And, um, Very good. You know what we're going to do? Put it at WSBA.com as well. Yeah, it's a real easy simple. way to find Thank it. you guys so much. This was very informative. And again, I always wonder the difference between the CPR and Heimlich. So I know I'm like, I guess no question is a dumb question, but yeah. you answered all my questions I had. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for coming on this Thank morning. You. Thank you for having us. You, you got yeah. it. Yeah, we're going to have much more on Carolina Morning after this. Oh, God. <laughs>